Hi, this is Mark and I am here in Redwood City in front of the San Mateo County History Museum and this is the day I come down here to teach a class at a, at a startup and I actually just saw the app that they're using uh, and it's really amazing. It's all around um, food preparation and helping you know what's in your fridge and giving you suggestions on what to make. It's really cool. A company is called Init and uh, my friend Eliza works there and that's how I got to be brought into the office to teach there so I'm really happy. Very cool get to, to get to do this and to get to learn about Redwood City. Come down here every week and I like to do my reading from the Golden Present from here. Daily inspirational readings by Sri Swami Satchidananda and this is for July 27th and the, the topic is everything is God's work. Somehow my life has been continuously directed by a higher will. I didn't have any interest in coming to this country. This is Swami Satchidananda writing this. I didn't have any interest in going to Sri Lanka. Somehow providence put me in various places. It just pushed me here, there, here, there, one place after the other. As if some unseen hand were moving me even from childhood itself. I never wanted to do anything myself. I simply accepted whatever was presented to me. After high school, I went to study some technical things. When I finished that and came back, I was immediately asked to go manage a temple. From the temple management, I was pushed into the automobile field. It all just happened. Somebody called me. Come, you do this. Whatever came, I accepted. Yes, maybe I have something to learn there. Even going to different teachers was like that. It's not that it was my wish. From the, from the very beginning, there was some hand behind everything guiding me from place to place. And that hand is still functioning. I am here today. I don't know where I will be tomorrow. I'm ever ready to move according to the will of that higher force, and that is enough for me. That keeps me always peaceful, contented, happy, and carefree. That's what you call renunciation. Renounce your personal interest and the Lord will work through you. He will put you wherever it's necessary. Whatever is presented to you, do it happily, joyfully. Everything is God's work. Well, the first thing that comes to mind, and then it's, he did go into this, is that you know he did make a vow um, to a vow of service. You know, to be a yogi who has renounced the ambitious life of kind of the everyday person who strives for, um, you know, finding that personal satisfaction and that personal desire for a certain kind of success in the world, that he's doing more of a practice of listening, of making himself available to that higher will, as he said in the beginning. And that's another reference of whatever God might be for you, not not having to point at a religious God per se, but it could be an understanding of this universal energy or universal um, intelligence that we are guided by. And even that's a choice if you want to believe in that or not. So whatever it is you you feel aligned with, but I tend to like to to to, uh, to feel that there is some greater force that is helping to guide all the events that are happening. That there is something to learn from all of the things happening just as they are and that it's beyond my ability to try to decide where, how all the pieces should fit, when they should fit together, who should put the pieces together, why they should fit together. It's more my job to learn how to create meaning out of what's happening and how to find the, the way to be the most peaceful in each situation because it's from being the most peaceful that we're actually able to access more parts of ourself and of this whole self that was brought here on this planet. Typically, we're, we're only able to see you know, the bright side of the moon. There's this whole other dark side of our brain, our moon brain, <laughs> um, that we're not able to get to 
but in the practices and, and when, the, when the body can calm down, it's scientifically been shown, we actually have more access to the brain. So it's in that more peaceful place that we, we tap into what is important, what really needs to be focused on. When we're stressed and anxious and ambitious and ego-driven, we get a little narrow focused. It tends to turn more inward towards a more selfish type of uh, reacting rather than asking how can we be of service, how can we help bring balance into our own body and then into the world. And that's something I feel Swami Satchidananda has really listened to. You know, there's a call for balance and rather than him trying to overweigh the world with his own ideals and ambitions, he's listening to where, you know, where did he need to be brought that would help create a balance and um, yeah, and that's, that's powerful. That's something I aspire to. I recognize that I, you know, I have some things that I'm struggling with that cause me to stay a little confined to the equation of everyday life. You know, I still need to pay rent and pay bills and I need to come up with an income that balances out my expenses. Um, it's not something that is just able to happen without conscious effort. I sometimes have to struggle to figure out how to make it all come together. But I will say there is a sense of moving towards my calling and my purpose now where things feel like they're falling more into place and less of me having to try to um, I guess try to force something to happen that isn't serving me and others. It feels like it's towards the effort of a larger goal and there's a sense of activation in me that propels me to do certain things and keeps me very active and I you know I do credit that to some higher will and I appreciate in this reading today too you know hearing the different things that he experienced from um, you know studied some technical things I know some of it was photography and film and then he was in the automobile field he was helping to manage a temple I know there were other things that he did so it can almost sound like you know like this scattered thing, think life that he had, and he was married, he had children, and I was speaking about this yesterday, or I think it was one of the days, where I feel like sometimes I can feel that sense of a scattered life, but I know from Swami Satchidananda how he references all of those experiences, that created this integrated life and his ability to, to share the teachings in a very everyday kind of way. So I'm grateful to read that for today. Everything is God's work or everything is some higher energy's work, something beyond myself. So I'm grateful for that um, understanding today. Hope this was useful to you. And uh, this is one of the first times it's not a sunny day in Redwood City. Kind of a gray day, but I like it. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.